Hi everyone. In this video I will talk about bootstrap and responsive theme so that you can theme once and it would work on different sizes of uh, screens um, on the computer or the tablet or uh, the smartphones. Um, the code I will work with is on Bitbucket. I will post this link near the video and uh, even if you don't download this code you can uh, browse the code go into source and see how uh, from step to step I changed things so if you see difference from one step to another um, how the things changed so you can browse and see We will start with a basic HTML page and show different structures and how Bootstrap makes it easy for different screen sizes. So with this step, um, right now there is only a basic HTML page with the jQuery being loaded on it. So this is how it looks. So in step two, I am including a bootstrap dot mini dot CSS. To take a look, when you download bootstrap, it comes with boost bootstrap responsive dot CSS. Uh, it's there is a minified version of the same file and a bootstrap dot CSS and in the javascript folder there is a bootstrap.mini.js so for the bootstrap to work basically we need the jquery bootstrap.js bootstrap.css and responsive.css in next step i will include that css as well so at this moment you will not see any difference let's go to the next step so in this step I have included the bootstrap dot responsive dot CSS so basically uh, for bootstrap to work we need two CSS files here uh, bootstrap dot CSS and bootstrap responsive dot CSS and we need the jQuery and bootstrap.js. Um, I'm including the minified version, but you can include the um, uh, the uh, expanded version if you like to develop in that. Um, at this step, there is a container, and then there is a row. Inside that row, there are individual divs, three of them, with class span four. So let's see how it looks in the browser. So if we want to make this three, three and six, and as you might have guessed, it will adjust according to that. Or you can delete one of these altogether and make these six six or you can make three and nine okay and let's see how it behaves with the different uh, screen sizes so when the screen is like a tablet it'll stack when it is like a phone it will still be stacked and when it's like a regular computer it will be um, expanded
Okay, in this step, I have included the banner. So this div, uh, as you might remember, these are exactly the same. And this is the addition here, the class hero unit. What this will do is create a banner section. And let's see how it behaves on a bigger screen, on a tablet, and a smaller one. Okay. And the next step, I have included the cursor. In order for the cursor to work, there is a div container um, cursor container. And at the bottom of this page, I am calling with the jQuery the cursor function. So the structure of this cursor is uh, there is a wrapper and there is a cursor inner inside the cursor inner there are individual images and the class for those images is item the first one is active and then there is an image and there is a, a div for caption so as many as images you want to rotate you can include them and after the cursor inner class there are two um, A links for cursor control left and cursor control right. And let's see how it looks. This is how it looks, and it is a functioning cursor. And let's see how it behaves when there is a smaller screen. So, this is our tablet size perform a regular size computer okay the next step in this step In this step, I have included two rows. The first row has a span 4, and then the second one is span 4 offset 4. Second row has span 6 offset 4. So this one is span 4, and this one is span 4 offset 4. This one is span 6 offset 4. So if we play around with it, you can see how you can control. Um, so if you want it closer to the left side and stand all the way to the right. Or if you want it for offset and for width only. You can do that. Or you can offset it all the way to the right. Or offset 8. Okay. And same thing with this. You can play around or um, change these based on how you want to place the elements so this could be three six offset two so this is the one we are trying to change now so it will look something like this okay let's move on to the next step
okay in this uh, step I included the buttons so if you give the appropriate class uh, bootstrap will style the buttons see there are two buttons here which are block level button button large button block button primary and let's see how they behave if you when it's a tablet size a, the block level will try to uh, stretch and cover the whole area and based on what um, size or what um, style you need you can assign or change the, these classes so if I take this off from here so this is referring to this large button here so I'm going to take the button primary and put it on the second one and see what it does so this one is a regular one this is um, blue so there are lots of examples on bootstrap uh, documentation my idea to um, show these examples was uh, to demonstrate how easy it is and uh, if you have not looked into it uh, it's a very good framework in um, the follow-up video I will show how I have um, included or incorporated bootstrap in Drupal themes so uh, very soon I will make a video of that process and upload it okay thanks for watching